Well, my wife and I spent the day back in Louisiana. I uh, got a lawnmower fixed, and it was a safety switch. And uh, it was just by chance that I figured out what it was. Uh, actually, not by chance. I mean, they were the first things I suspected was a, a safety switch. But here's the thing. This lawnmower had been worked on at a lawnmower shop. And that safety switch that was preventing the lawnmower from starting was the wrong safety switch. And I'll tell you this briefly. On a ZTR, you're supposed to spread the arms all the way out away from you in order for the engine to start. Each arm has a safety switch on it. Well, when I was checking the safety switches, I noticed that the safety switch on the right arm of the ZTR was mounted firmly and the safety switch on the left arm was flopping around. Well, I, when I got to playing with it a little bit, uh, I had, who was it? Somebody. Anyway, when I, uh, what I, I realized that it had been replaced and not replaced properly. So I got back on the lawnmower and I deactivated that switch that is supposed to be activated in order to uh, start it. I deactivated the switch and it cranked went right up. And me and a couple other people have tried to crank it. I mean, what a fluke that, uh, and it was a main, you know, a big lawnmower shop that did this work over in Bossier City. So yeah, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's a simple fix. Just don't, don't activate that arm. Don't push that arm all the way out to uh, crank the lawnmower up. So uh, I'm going to be gone much of the much of tomorrow too, which is Saturday, Saturday morning. I'm going to a funeral a long ways off, a PGR thing. He was not just a veteran, but also a Patriot Guard rider in his 70s, and he passed away. So that's a long ways off, but and it's probably going to rain. But uh, I'm just going to suck it up and go do the thing I'm supposed to do. So, uh, the knife that I'm making, I have another dadgum warp. I'm going to get it out, but uh, I thought I had got it out this last time, this morning when I went out there. I noticed that, and the thing is, I didn't develop the warp until it was in the heat treating, uh, the tempering oven, not the heat treating. When I took it out of the heat treating, when I took it out of the oil, it was straight as an arrow. Well, I put it in my tempering oven, and I went back this morning, and it had a distinct warp right in handle. So I know how to shim it and everything. I put it in my straightening jig with the shims. I put it back in my tempering oven. When I came back, that was that warp was gone out of the handle, and now on the other end of the knife, I had a warp. So uh, I shimmed it back up and uh, I'm going to get it right and I think from now on what I'm going to do is temper my blades in the straightening jig that way they won't warp I don't know why this is happening I suspect it's just now started doing it and it it's coincided with my brand new oil that I'm using the Parks 50 so uh, I mean it is a super fast quenching oil so that might have something to do with it uh, you know, I'm still somewhat new at this, and it's just a guess, but uh, I didn't start having these warps until I changed the oil from canola oil, which is a very slow quenching oil, to uh, Parks 50, which is a very fast quenching oil. So uh, I'll be working on that, and I'll get the warp. I'm not going to put the handles out until the warp is gone. So anyway, I have enough bobcat clips that I'm going to put them all together and uh, show you that and uh, that's it so have a good Saturday and uh, maybe I'll get home early enough to do a little work on that knife, we'll see you tomorrow have a good Saturday y'all
this root stroke. Okay. How you feed your bobcat. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Let me tell you what, squirrels, possum, skunks, raccoons, they love tomatoes. And uh, all out in the woods, we are gonna have tomato plants next year. Cause that's where about 90% of my tomatoes went. <sighs> they didn't touch the cucumbers though. But for some reason, these cucumbers had such a really bad bitter flavor to them and i know there's people that tell you well you take, cut the end of the daggum old cucumber off and then you rub it together and then you put it behind your ear and you turn around three times to the west and it'll take the bitterness away okay so uh that's what we're down to nothing on them we're done for the season i guess next year i might put a a fence up around here just to keep the some of the animals away. I don't mind getting a tomato or two now and then, but my God, when they realize there's tomatoes over here, it was like a highway. 
Okay. We're going to uh, <clears throat> a friend of mine's back in Louisiana. I'm going to try to get the lawnmower started. And uh, I, I'm bringing my trailer because if I can't get it started there and figure out what's wrong with it, I'm going to have to bring it home and figure out what's wrong with it. It's a very expensive, big lawnmower. Watch, listen, and boy, she liked that. She was huffing and what, what? And I was gonna look and go see, listen, and I'd stop and, and Come here. Come here. Run into nothing. Say the S word. <laughs> 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 she's all over it. Boy, she is a lovey dovey, friendly girl. She is so funny. There was two armadillos. I didn't know what was wrong with it until I realized one armadillo was on top of the other.